Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we're going to work on a bookmark using the Bargain Bead Box um, for June Solstice Warmth, it's called. And uh, really pretty, pretty oranges. So uh, let's turn down and we'll get working on our bookmark. So other than our uh, blank, I have got a oval jump ring to hook this onto our thing. A little dragon. I think we're going to end him as the charm at the bottom. A couple of crimp tubes. My soft flex butterscotch um, beading wire in diameter, in the uh, medium diameter. And then some of the beads from the bargain bead box. Now what I think we're going to do is we're going to take one of these druzies, or maybe I'll even use two, but see what we want to do here. And these are going to be our focals, either one or two. It'll depend on how I like the looks of things as we go along here. And then of course we need our spacers because, you know, spacers, I have to have them. So we'll have a spacer, spacer, we're going to want some of these. Now I did fetch the one I dropped earlier, it's in here somewhere. these guys for the very center. Whoop. Yeah, this guy wants to come with me, so we'll use him for sure. And maybe again on either side here. And I'm thinking at least one of these little ones for either side of the rondelle in the middle to, to um, accent that. So let's cut this string. And we'll get a few of these out. So we'll go right here and here. in between these two as well. Looks like I may need another spacer or two, but that's all right. We'll get one out. So then it's going to be sort of like this, and then we'll see. We want it to be about the same length as our bookmark. Anyway, I like them that length. Um, some people just put a little short one in. I like the longer. And we may end up needing another bead or two if, if we do. So let's start. We need a couple more of these. Oop, I think I got too many that time, but that's all right. Better too many than not enough. Get these babies back in their baggie. Got quite a few little extras here, but that's all right. We may decide we want those. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut some wire. And then we will string the dragon on to the one end. So that's more than enough. You just need enough for your bead strand and to be comfortable with your turns and such. So we'll cut this off. Okie dokie. 
we have our wire cut, the first one thing we want to do is put a crimp tube on. Come here, you. And then we're going to want to string our dragon on the very bottom. He has a big loop where his tail goes through to his head, so there's our end. And we'll feed this back through. Now, if I don't put a charm on the bottom of my um, bookmarks, I do put a little tiny um, bead or some such thing down here at the bottom to um, so that the uh, crimp tube has something to hold on to there. So put that back in and crimp her up. And just keep going around until you have that nice and tight. Well, if you're using the magical crimpers, if you're using the other type, it's just two uh, bites into it. So we'll start with this one. We want it to go down over our extra wire if possible. And it looks like that's not a problem. But then I'm going to trim about this much off so it doesn't hang in here. So about, well, that's about an eighth of an inch probably. So it stays inside this bead. And we're gonna just go up what we designed here. Okay, now that we've got it all beaded, we have to ask our question, self the question, is it as long as I want it? Is it not, is it too long? But let's see, and it looks like it's gonna be about perfect. As I like it to be about flush or just a little bit below my blank. So I am going to put a bead stopper on this end while we put these extra little beads away so they don't get lost. I always advise people to use a bead stopper when, um, when you're working on your beaded designs because if you should happen to drop it, which I have done in the past before I started using uh, bead stoppers, your beads more than likely will be all over the floor. And if you're doing something like seed beads, which I was when I dropped the piece I dropped, that made me start using the bead stoppers. Um, it's a pain in the rear to have to A, redo them or pick them up, either one or both of them. So now that we've got this done and we're ready to attach it, we need to put in our next crimp tube. And then 
we're going to put on our jump ring. Now, you probably are saying, why do you want to put the jump ring on before you have the jump ring attached to the blank? You can attach it to the blank first and then attach it, do this, but I find it much easier just to do it this way. And I always put the jump ring in prior to um, doing this, so you could just crimp it with leaving a little loop and then that would also be fine. But the problem with that is that it's sometimes harder to make that loop up at the top if something isn't in it. Anyway, I find that to be the case. So I always try to put something in the loop. So since I'm going to need that jump ring anyway, I use the jump ring. So now this is probably about where I want it, but since this is going to is leaving a gap here, I want to make sure I got that nice and tight there. You can't go right straight across to the um, crimp to the beads because you need a teeny gap of space to work in there. So this is probably about as close as we're going to get it. So crimp down, turn, 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 turn. And once we have this crimped, we need to test it, make sure it's crimped the way we want it, that it's nice and secure. We want to give it a tug test. Seems to be good and tight. So then we'll cut this extra wire off. As you can see, I had a lot more than I needed. And then we're going to attach it to the blank. And of course, the attaching it to the blank is as simple as can be. All you do is open your jump ring up. like you would ordinarily with a twisting motion from side to side and then slide that on to your plank and close her up. Okay, there we go. She is done. And there's our little dragon bookmark. Isn't that cute? So I hope you enjoyed making the really pretty bookmark from the Bar June Bargain Bead Box Solstice Warmth um, beads. Isn't that pretty? cute little dragon on the bottom. Oh, uh, anyway, I've enjoyed making this and I hope that you enjoyed making it with me. We will talk to you later. This has been Rose from In Rose's Garden. Bye-bye.